Have you been to the Dollar Tree lately? I have some amazing Dollar Tree Cricut crafts that you can make in under $10. To all you 27,000 craft loving wonders, my name is Tara and welcome to Sweet Country Glam. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor and clickety click 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 that like button and subscribe today because, well, it's easy, it's free, and you make my day. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna show you each project individually and I'm gonna let you know which items that I got from the Dollar Tree and what items I already had on hand. My goal is to make sure that everything is under that $10 mark. So let's see how I do. Project number one. I grabbed these ceramic dishes with a frame stand on them and I'm gonna show you what I make with them. Additional items that I'm gonna be using for this specific project is JDC Craft Final and including some clear acrylic sealer and of course some transfer tape. These last two items I'm gonna be using all throughout the video. I did use my Cricut Maker for this project specifically, but you can totally use any machine you like. Some key points to remember is to always measure your item before you go into design space or whatever design space you're using so that you get the right measurements so you don't make your item too big or too small. So I got the correct letter sizings of my cuts and you can see that here. I added the vinyl, I added two layers of clear acrylic sealer. Now let's talk about the final cost here. $2 in dishes and then maybe $3 in supplies with the transfer tape, the sealer, and of course the JDC black vinyl that I had on hand. So let's say a grand total for this project number one was just $5. Project number two is organizational bins. Now, I went down the $5 aisle and grabbed a big bin because I wanna organize my cardstock. Then I grabbed a small bin for the dollar. Additional items for this project that are outside of the Dollar Tree items are going to be some craft vinyl, including some Cricut Joy writable vinyl, and of course, using some transfer tape. Okay, so it's important to make sure that you pick a legible font, and I got my font over off of Creative Fabrica. So I would say with two bins, it was $6, and then adding the vinyl in the transfer tape, I'd say maybe another $2. So this came to a grand total of only $7 for this project. And if you didn't know, I have my own Etsy shop. Be sure to check that out, and you can see all of my earrings, PNGs, and more available now. Bathroom wall art. Now, you can go to the Hobby Lobby or wherever you wanna go and spend maybe $10, $15 per sign. Well, grab these four frame tin picture frames for a dollar a piece. You're gonna use some vinyl and some transfer tape for this one and pick your favorite quotes or favorite sayings, upload them to Design Space. I picked four of them from Creative Fabrica. You can see them linked down below. I also use my black JDC craft vinyl and of course some transfer tape. Be sure to measure the inside tin area and adjust your image to fit nicely. I use two vertical and two horizontal images. You can decide if you wanna use a rope handle or use a piece of hanging wire to hang them on your wall. I decided this was my final look. I love it and it's super easy to make. For this project, it was $4 for the frames and about two to $3 in additional materials. So the grand total was seven bucks. That's a win-win right there. Project number four is a soap dish. Now, these little wooden trays are super cute. I grabbed some clear jewel stones and some super glue, and then I decided I was gonna use some textured cream spray paint that I had. So I wasn't really sure what kind of pattern I wanted to work with, so I just super glued the stones in and I pushed them closer together once I realized that they were just too spread apart. And I really liked that dark, pretty blue color. It reminds me of the ocean. So I was able to squish another blue row in there, and it just really ties into the beach theme that we have in our current guest bathroom. So I really wanted to keep to that look. I quickly realized that I needed to make this waterproof so that it would last. And so I decided I was gonna use some of my UV resin that I had left over from a previous video. If you haven't seen it, we have our Cricut Wars episode one, where we go head to head between my husband and I and making the best tumbler. So I poured a little bit of the UV resin over all of the little gaps in between the stones, and then I brought it out into the sunlight and let it cure for 15 to 20 seconds. This stuff is amazing. I'll leave a link down in the description. I grabbed some of my Mystic Sea Paint that's from Valspar. It was a sample that I've had for a few years now, and this was a perfect blend. Now, the amount that I spent was $3 for all of the items, as I mentioned. I would guesstimate I only used about a dollar of the resin. So therefore, this does put this project under the $10 budget. 
Project number five, DI wooden signs. And I thought what better way than to add my own pizzazz to it using regular craft vinyl and HTV. Yes, I said HTV. So as you can see here, I go ahead and I get everything cut out. Now the stars were kind of an afterthought and I thought this definitely needs some more color and I wanted to make them double-sided. So it was just easy to flip it over and I have another sign, one to start off summer and one to kick off July. So I go ahead and get everything sized and get it cut then I turned on my HTV ROT mini press to level two. Now for glitter, I do like to go ahead and push it up to level three because this is a little bit of a chunkier glitter and I feel like it activates the glue a little bit faster. You only wanna be over it for about 10 to 15 seconds because you definitely do not want to melt your HTV. I thought this came out great. Love the colors. The sun was out of a chameleon craft I know from JDC. You'll have to check them out. They have a sale going on 25% off through the month of May. Super cute sign out the door. I would say for the sign, it was $1. And with all the vinyl that I used, I would say maybe $2 in vinyl. So let's just say this was a $4 craft project. Hey friends, just to let you know, we do our YouTube channel yeah. for free and it is definitely a lot of work, but we love bringing you great content. We love sharing all of our DIY inspirational craft tips, cricket tips, you name it. If you are finding value and enjoying this video or any of our other videos on our channel, please see the super chat down below and feel free to give any support to our channel so that we can continue to bring you great crafting content. Ombre glitter tin base. Now this did not start off the way I thought it was going to. I was going to use my chameleon vinyl in the green and in the yellow and just add these really pretty designs that I got over off of Creative Fabrica. But then my husband had a really great idea. Instead of just throwing vinyl on it, why don't we ombre it? And so we decided that we were gonna give it this really beautiful bronze gold ombre. For the vase, I spent $5, and I would say in spray paint and in vinyl, probably another $5, putting this one right at that $10 craft mark. Project number seven is kid activity boards. This was super fun because this has a super awesome purpose because my little one can play with this and he loves doing little matching with Velcro and he loves his letters and numbers and this was a perfect way to make a craft that he can use during the summertime. So I spent $10 for this project. Like I maxed out on this project and then I used free printables that I found over off of Pinterest. I'll go ahead and leave a couple of links down in the description next to this project. But that's why I wanted to show you over in Design Space how easy it is to just recreate your own little game pieces. So I just grabbed a circle, I changed the background to white, I added all the letters to correspond with the matching picture, but the laminating part is totally optional and up to you. So as you can see here, I planned everything out. I wanted to do everything horizontal. It's up to you if you have an easel, however you wanna set them up. So what I did here is I took my flashcards, I decided which ones I wanted to use. You can see here how I'm numbering my little cookie jars. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Velcro and stick the corresponding piece, one to the cookie and then one to the actual paper itself that's on the foam board. This was a super fun way to create a nice little project and you can take the foam boards and put them away in a closet and bring them back out when you need a new activity and it's interchangeable you can use these foam boards for just about anything project number eight it's keeping with the kid project vibe I want to have some kid travel pouches and the Dollar Tree had these cute little clear pouches you can even use your Cricut Joy to label them you can throw books in one you can throw play-doh in the other I maxed out on these ones I actually spent for all of my pouches about $35 but if you just need to make like one or two you could definitely keep them under the $10 mark super easy peasy you fill it all with the goodies that your child likes because you know them best and then you can throw all of the pouches in a bag and take it with you to the restaurant on a field trip or to go visit some family stemless wine glasses were absolutely gorgeous just because of their holographic look already I had to buy them and so this would be a great bridesmaid gift wedding gift you name it for a bridal shower so what I did is I grabbed some of my JDC craft vinyl I bought two glasses at two dollars so that's all it cost me my clear acrylic sealer my Mod Podge and some glitter I grabbed my favorite images off of Creative Fabrica I size them I go ahead and then get the vinyl added to the cup then I go ahead and add my Mod Podge after I tape off the bottom rim that 
that's super important so that it's a clean crisp line I did this on two different glasses I used the really pretty diamond silver color and then I diamond it with this really pretty rose gold purple color comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite project number 10 personalizing blank thank you cards that you can get from the Dollar Tree including their bag this yellow holographic one was awesome and you can even personalize journals take your craft vinyl or whatever vinyl you have you can put whatever you want on them with multiple different colors of craft vinyl. JDC's Chameleon Craft Vinyl, they have nine vibrant holographic colors that you're gonna have to check out, and they're 25% off through the month of May. This project was well under the $10 craft mark. So that was 10. Now, if you wanna level it up, you can even grab a shirt for under $10. I grabbed this one at Kohl's, and you can throw some vinyl on it. I already had this vinyl made my design easy peasy make me smile don't forget super chat be sure to support sweet country glam click that like button right now you know you want to if you need some more cricket inspiration be sure to check out this video